Hey, what's up, Cosmonauts? De facto, mother fudges. Hi, guys, and super fantastic. Meet me, Seraphim. Today, this is my channel you're in. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Subscribe and like if you do, and share this video. Also, I'm not gonna talk all the way through this, don't worry, because, um, yeah, that'll be shit. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalries. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. and go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? This is so cool! The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this! Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other... This is impressive! Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time! If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything! We're gonna get to Eligard, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh... Jesse! <gasps> Okay, think fast, Jesse. What to choose? So long as you really know what you're doing with it. Again, hitting the power tracks now. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. I never doubted you for a second, but but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign, Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come. We're about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world! Wow! Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering? Incredible! Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Yeah. <sighs>
value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jessie, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, oh, crap. <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Eligard. But I'm still pretty cool. Well, you need to take us to her. It's really, really important. No, uh, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. And Eligard isn't one for appointments. The world is going to get eaten by a giant monster if you don't let us talk to Eligard. Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. No way. Gabriel gave this amulet to me. No way am I parting with it. Well, fine then. I don't have time for this. I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. I have no idea how it works, but that is pretty amazing. Hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty. Some people just aren't as great as I am. And some people are idiots. Tell me about this machine of yours. It's freaking huge. The mighty Megmaster 9 million? Yeah, <laughs> it's huge. It's bigger than huge. It's immense. Does it do anything other than be big? It walks, I think. But most importantly, it'll totally nab me the spot as Eligard's protege. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Eligard's protege over here. And you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. Hi! Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely the sort of creation that Eligard's future protege might make, no? Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> what am I looking at, exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. 
perfect fusion of my two loves, cows and music. Eligard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. Need a hand with anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer, uh, but I'm doing just fine, thanks. So long as that dunderhead sticks over there. I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. Just stay away from that little uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. I saw you over there talking to him. What lies has he been telling you? What's he saying these days? What little lies is he whispering? Little shorts-wearing jerk. Hey, I'm not gonna get involved here. Well, don't believe a word he tells you. Hey, 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 what do you think you're doing over there, pal? That's one of the key components of my, uh, bovine lava disco. Been real chatty with that disco friend of yours. What's he been telling you about me, huh? He's just jealous. Doesn't think I deserve to be Eligard's protege. Is this idea yours? Like, a hundred percent? Because he kinda says that you steal your ideas. All of them. That no good dirty... Ugh, disco freak! I've got a bone to pick with you! Steal all my ideas, huh? That's what you're telling people. Guess I just caught... Oh no, my machine! Oh, my cows! Ah, oh, something's gone wrong with the clock circuit. Ah, uh, the lava isn't switching with the water. Oh no, your amazing invention. You! You did this! Hey, I am not taking credit for any of this. That machine's been a cow death trap since block one. Oh, my cows! My poor cows! Hey, Disco Man! No sense crying over burned steaks. <laughs> it's funny that he's sad. And you, nicely done, you! This is hilarious. Nothing worth a shot, I guess. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Switch is on. That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Bam! Door open. Which is on. Okay, good, good. Wow, here it is. Eligard's Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal, we'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. That might be the most redstone stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. <laughs> God, what are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities.
Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man, look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients. Try not to touch anything until we know what it does, okay? I wasn't gonna touch anything. I was just going to look really carefully. Come on, let's keep moving. That's awesome. I dreamt it. Entering Elagard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request. Operational. Whoa! Hi! Hey! Didn't see you sneaking up on me. <laughs> Guess that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly <gasps> adorable pig, that is. <laughs> Jessie, she thinks we're her new assistants. Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you. Goggle girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. Wow, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Olivia? O Olivia, can you hear me? I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Ugh, so embarrassing. Everything working over... Ooh, hmm. Fine, I'll just do it myself then. Number 6,451. Another bust. Now, about you three. Uh, your friend here. Does she fall over frequently? Is this gonna be a regular occurrence? I... no. I'm sorry. I was just so excited to... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts. I could have tripped over you and conned my brain. Brilliant thoughts gone. <laughs> Eligard, we've actually got much bigger problems to deal with. We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who who sent you? Was it Calvin? Gabriel sent me. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. <gasps> I'm so close, I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory. You're trying to make a command block. Let me help you. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra-genius level stuff here. 
We've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. Ugh, sorry to bust your circuits, but the Order isn't really together anymore. We, uh, sort of disassembled. That's actually kind of why we're here. Gabriel's amulet. This certainly changes things. Yes, he gave it to me to find the Order. It's how we found you. Yes, this is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this Witherstorm monster thing or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. That sounds perfect. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic.
Okay, just a little farther. Well, that's certainly impressive. Wow. Oh, ah. there oh Jesse is that you just let us in Lucas I'm so glad you're back and we brought Eligard fantastic quick come on you guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone Petra hey guys how's it going I'm so glad you're okay, Petra. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it myself. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Back there in Gabriel's bunker, it got pretty dicey. It's such a relief to see you. I'm glad you're okay. You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. I'm just glad I heard Gabriel telling you where to go. I'm so glad to see you. Wow. Did Gabriel get away too? Did you see? It's all a blur, but the weather storm left almost nothing behind. Everything. Everyone. Was just gone. It even got Gabriel. I wouldn't believe that anything could defeat Gabriel if I hadn't seen it for myself. This is terrible. I can't remember the last time I saw this place. Would someone care to explain what he is doing here? Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little... adventure of his own while you were gone. An adventure to get him? Did you know about this? Why didn't you tell me? You did this on purpose. Hey, Axel's my friend, okay? I didn't know he was going to get Magnus. You gotta believe me. Well, I hope you're not expecting me to work with that cretin. Look, just wait here a second while I figure out what's going on. Much appreciated. So, who are you then? And why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? That's Jesse, my best friend. Trust me, Jesse's totally cool. Hey, Eligard is cool, and she's going to help stop this weather storm. Ellie? <laughs> cool? <laughs> oh, uh, oh, wait, 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 you're serious? Oh, wow, that's, uh, that's, uh, woo, ha, oh, boy. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the king of Boomtown. We've been bonding and stuff. I've had, like, the best day. Did you say king? Yeah, I did. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament, and... Long story, you had to be there. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnics. Bada-bing, bada-boom! Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean? Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean. But I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus. That's very... sweet. Yeah, he's sticking up for me. It's because I'm really awesome and super cool. Eligard, come on. I know this isn't how the plan was supposed to go, but it's going to be fine. Ha! Fine. Uh, peace.